Yes, YouTube, and here we go again for another detail at Cornwall Car Care. <coughs> We're back to the big beasts again. So we've got a 2012 Range Rover Sport in black. Quite swirly, this one. Yeah, it's, uh, we down the passenger side, which we'll go in a minute, there are some deep head scratches. Um, all the wet work is done. Paint depths are done. What I need to do next is to tape everything up, do my test panel, see where we're gonna to get to. Uh, but yeah, already looks so much better after a full wash and decontamination. But yeah, we'll get in now, we'll have a look at the paintwork. And I think we're gonna get straight into the polishing on this one. Let's have a look. Yep, so we're gonna start on the bonnet and you can see it's a lovely colour underneath that. It's like a rainbow flake. You can see gold, green, blue, purple. It's lovely. And look at all these scratches and swells. Just robbing all that clarity to come through. Wow. So yeah, that's the whole bonnet basically. And then... Yeah, just lots and lots of swells this is the better side this is the driver's side you see we've got, oh, we've got some holograms up there but yeah you can just see these deep ones that are dotted all around some more holograms there and then up around this handle, look at all them. They're going to be a little challenge to get out, they are. Right on that edge there where the light is. You see that deep one? Yeah. There's a deep one that runs from up here. You can just see it above the light all the way down. Got some more buffer trails mixed in there. Oh, some deep ones in there. And we get on to around the petrol cap. Look at all those. Yeah, it's gonna be a challenge. But as you all know, oh, there's another deep one from there, right across the petrol cap, diesel cap, sorry. them up there as well see if I can get the camera to focus on this oh, there's some deep ones Let me go on to the back yeah see if we can get these as well yeah that that's quite bad Uh, I've got lots of sticky tape to remove. Oh, actually, not as bad as some. But yeah, look at all of that behind it. Holograms here. Yes. And then... Oh, nasty one right on that edge. And then, yeah, this is where we start seeing quite a lot of horizontal scratches. Oh, but I say that. Look at all them vertical ones. Oh. Yeah. And then basically the long ones start from here. You can see that. And they run. Oh. <laughs> all the way down. All the way. Look at that for a scratch. Yeah, holograms. But nice not to have some gloss pillars. It's always nice to see. Right on the edge of that mirror as well. 
and yeah, it's front wing. And back onto the bonnet. So there we have the walk round finished. Yeah, tape everything up. Get me test panel, we're probably gonna do either the bonnet or one of the passenger side doors. They're quite bad, so yeah, I might try one of those actually. But yeah, we'll do a test panel and we'll come back in a little bit. Cheers! First update on the Range Rover Sport. Oh my God. <laughs> I've done my test panel. Oh, let me spin it around and show ya. Wow. So you can see all the damage in the paintwork. And then as we come across this side, What a difference. So that has had two cutting sets and a refinement set. Yeah, super happy with that. That's come out a lot better than I thought it was gonna. So yeah, the amount of damage that is in that paintwork to get it like that. There are a couple of deeper ones still in there, but they've been rounded off so they're less noticeable. But yeah, just got the rest of the vehicle to do now. <laughs> Let's set out the camera, roll some footage and get back to it. That's the polishing finished on the Range Rover. Wow. Again, that was a bit more work than I thought. But what a difference a couple of days make. Yes. Right, so it is coming up to five o'clock on Wednesday. 
It's gonna be a late one tonight. So, as with all of them, Spice Hacker wipe down, Gion Prep wipe down, then we're gonna leave it an hour, and then this is having Gion Infinite Base Type 2 and Top Coat Type 1 for protection. In that hour that I'm waiting for that to do its thing, I will get on with the glass and the wheels. Yeah, this has to be coated today, tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna go and put some food on. It's gonna be a late one, but it's gotta be done. Gotta be done. I've got a BMW M2 coming in tomorrow. Yeah, late one last night, late one tonight. Let's just get it done. Get some food. Get the prep work done. And let's get the coating on. So the hour is up, which means we are now ready for paint coatings, which is my favorite part of the detail. The reason why it's my favorite, one, it's very enjoyable and therapeutic to do a ceramic coating. No rushing, just methodical, just nice and easy. Well, I say nice and easy. It's still a bit of work, but yeah, I just thoroughly enjoy it. And it's also, all the hard work I've put in, getting this paintwork looking like that, the coating is gonna lock that in so it keeps all the gloss all the way down the line. Yeah, I just, oh, I love it. So yeah, this one is having Gion Infinite Base Type 2 and then Gion Infinite Top Coat Type 1 to go on top of that one. I'm gonna get my headphones on because then I can crank the volume up. It's about seven o'clock on Wednesday. Um, yeah, pull in a late one tonight. The, the coatings have to be done today. So yeah, we're gonna pull a late one. Excuse me, thank you very much. Uh, one, uh, that was one of my YouTube videos have just gone live. So I think that was a Porsche 928 video. So yeah, so I'm a few behind on my videos. Again, need to pull my finger out and get them done. But yeah, let's, Get my music on and let's just get this coating on. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> it's not a, it's a yeah. <laughs>
there on the Range Rover. Yeah. Two last things to do, same with all of them. Wipe the tires. Gion Cure. This is its sacrificial layer while it's gonna go out curing for the next two weeks. Uh, just gonna help prevent water spotting. Uh, but yeah, everyone gets the same. Already done the roof. And now I've put the ladders away, the ladders, the steps away, so that's done. So now, yeah, now we've just got the rest of it to do, wipe the tires, and then yeah, we're ready for some afters. Put a couple of spritz. Nice wipe down. That's my bald wipe, this is my soft wipe. Yeah, I was here late last night, just trying to get through the list of the jobs to finish, because this one's going today, hopefully. But yeah, spent some hours on this one but totally worth it. And unfortunately, I can't get any pictures outside because the weather is not very good, should we say. But yeah, it'd be nice to get some, well, I think there was a comment in the, uh, what video was that on? Uh, one of the videos on YouTube, somebody was asking about getting some outside shots when the weather improves, well, even though we're coming into winter now, but if we get a nice sunny day and I finish one, I will definitely get it outside and we'll get some shots of the bit outside or a video. But I keep saying it as well, probably 90% of all the details that get picked up here is raining. And it's so disheartening, one for the customer, and two for me. I put a lot of effort in and then they drive it home and it just gets soaking wet. So uh, yeah, today's no different. Well, that's enough of me filming this bit. You don't need to see me do the whole car. Yeah, so we'll catch back in a minute for the afters. We are at the end of this detail. I'm proud of that one. From what that looked like when it came in to now, yeah, I'm over the moon with that. Been a few late nights, but doesn't bother me. It's the end result that counts. Two stage machine polish, Geon Infinite Base Type 2 for the base coat, obviously and Geon Infinite Top Coat Type 1 for its top up. Hydrophobic top up. Uh, let's go on top of that. The wheel faces have been coated, the glass, the, there's quite a lot of trim on this. Engine bay's been done. Did a bit of interior work, but it was, the interior is very tidy on this. So yeah, credit to the owner. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, just. <laughs> Oh, I've got to think of some new words to say. 
It's incredible. Yes. Right. Let's just get into some afters. We'll have a quick walk round the side. So there we go, 2012 Range Rover Sport, which has been, let me hear you say it, geonized. Let's roll some afters.